Good idea. Vic. <coughs> Yeah, I want you behind Dan. Yeah, so you and you behind Dan. Okay. 
Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to St. John Bosco Catholic Church and a special welcome to our visitors. The parish community dinner will be held March 11th in Hanley Hall at 6 p.m. Please call the parish office to RSVP. Following the 9.30 a.m. installation mass today, there will be a reception in Hanley Hall. All are welcome to attend. Today we celebrate the second Sunday of Lent. The readings for today's Mass may be found in the Missalette on pages 118 through 120. We keep those who are sick and suffering in our parish, especially in our prayers, especially Jane Capelish, Francis Wodosh, Rick Williams, Bruceo Romero, and Beth Eagle, and those who have died, especially Anthony Rocco, Lorenzo Ferreira. Please be sure your cell phones are turned off. Bienvenidos a San Juan Bosco y de una manera muy especial a aquellos que hoy nos acompañan por primera vez. La cena de la comunidad parroquial tendrá lugar el 11 de marzo en Hamilton a las 6 p.m. Por favor llame a la oficina parroquial para confirmar su asistencia. Después de la misa de instalación de las 9.30 a.m., hoy habrá una recepción en el Hamilton. Todos son bienvenidos. Hoy celebramos el segundo domingo de cuaresma. Las lecturas se encuentran en las páginas 119 a 121 de sus misales. Tenemos en nuestras oraciones especialmente a los que sufren. Han, Kepuchu, Franz, Hoysburg, Rich, William, Ricio Romero, Beth, Ab, y a los que han muerto, especialmente Anthony Rojo y Lorenza Carrera. Our processional hymn is number 881 in the blue hymnals. La canto entrada es el número 881 en el libro azul. De pie, por favor.
So, brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty oh God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, who 
Lectura de la carta del apóstol San Pablo a Timoteo. Querido hermano, comparte conmigo los sufrimientos por la predicación del Evangelio, sostenido por la fuerza de Dios. Pues Dios es quien nos ha salvado y nos ha llamado a, a que le contaremos nuestra vida. No porque lo merecieran nuestras buenas obras, sino porque así lo dispuso Él gratuitamente. Este don que Dios ya nos ha concedido por medio de Cristo Jesús desde la eternidad, ahora se ha manifestado con la venida del camino de Cristo Jesús, nuestro Salvador que destruyó la muerte y ha hecho brillar la luz de la vida y de la inmortalidad. Por medio del Evangelio, palabra de Dios.
Fran, may you always serve the faithful of St. John Bosco Parish with zeal, fidelity, and sincere devotion, so that all people may come to know Jesus Christ, our only true high priest and shepherd. My dear friends, because I am aware of your pastoral needs and am confident of Father Tran's qualification for the office of pastor, I now officially commend to you Father Augustine Tran as your new pastor.
in our diocese, when our high school seniors in our Catholic schools go on a weekend retreat, the first thing that they are asked to do is to hand over their phones. <laughs> Can you imagine the reaction? <laughs> How will I ever be able to survive two whole days without my phone? But what the priest chaplains tell me is at the end of the retreat, the young people are so thankful for that experience. They say they never experienced such freedom <laughs> and even some peace. It's true for all of us. If we are going to try to find that time to, to be with the Lord, to be quiet, and to listen to Him, we must leave behind, at least for some part of the day, the phone, the social media, the technology, all that consume us. So maybe as we continue this Lenten journey, that's something you might consider doing. Father Tran, it's, it's so important in your life. Actually, I think the, the best gift that you give to your parishioners is that quiet time that you spend with the Lord before the Blessed Sacrament each day. Because it's in the being you find the strength for the building. As we continue this Lenten journey, my brothers and sisters, all of us are called to unite our sufferings to Jesus. I'm sure that all of us in church today, without exception, are carrying some sort of cross in our lives. It may be our own physical or emotional suffering, the problems at home or at work, our worry or concern about the people we love who are suffering. And yet today Jesus is saying to us, do not get overwhelmed in the midst of these sufferings. Father Tran, it will be so important for you to help your parishioners carry their cross by reminding them of the lesson that Jesus taught to us today in this gospel, the transfiguration just proclaimed. What happened was, Jesus told his disciples that he had to go to Jerusalem, that he had to take up his cross and suffer. And the disciples were stunned. They were shocked. This was not the type of Messiah that we were expecting. Someone had to suffer. And so Jesus saw that they were fearful, actually distraught. And so he took them up into that mountain, and there's much symbolism in this gospel just proclaimed, including that Jesus' face became radiant, and his garments became like light all to symbolize, all to reassure his disciples that from suffering will come glory. They will not be defeated. So Father Tran, that's the gospel you are to preach constantly, helping your people to carry, your parishioners to carry their cross, reminding us that when we unite our sufferings to the Lord's, we come to share in his victory. And he will give us that grace, the strength we need to take up our cross each day and to follow him. Let's pray for one another at this Mass. That like the disciples, we are reassured today, we're reaffirmed in our faith that suffering will lead to glory. For then, we can respond to the words of Jesus we just heard. Rise, and do not be afraid. 
Father Sharon, we do rejoice with you, your dear parents, family, and friends, as you were installed today as the pastor of St. John Gospel Parish. And we pray for you. We pray that through the intercession of Mary, the mother of priests, and Joseph, St. John Bosco, you will renew your yes to God's holy will. And renew your promises to spend quiet time with the Lord each and every day. Ever mindful of his words. This is my beloved son. Listen to him. May our Lord Jesus abundantly bless you in your parish on this joyful day, throughout the sacred season of Lent, and always. Amen. Father Trang, always be a loving father, a gentle shepherd, and a wise teacher of your people, so that you may lead them to Christ, who will strengthen all that you do. As a teacher of that faith, I ask you to lead your parishioners in the profession of the faith that unites us. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from one light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us then and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was he parted of the Virgin Mary, and he came then. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again. Para que nos guíe 
hacia una vida más fiel en el Evangelio, roguemos al Señor. Por Padre Chan, nuestro nuevo párroco, que siempre nos muestre su amor y compasión, roguemos al Señor. Por todos aquellos que aportan su tiempo y talento a la parroquia, para que su servicio a la iglesia nos ayude a conocer el mensaje de Cristo, roguemos al Señor. Por nosotros, para que lo conforme, conformamos la parroquia de San John Bosco, para que trabajemos juntos para proclamar la buena nueva del amor de Cristo, roguemos al Señor. Por todos los sacerdotes de la diócesis de Arlington, que ellos sean renovados en santidad, sean generosos en el servicio y fervientes en su vocación, atestiguando siempre las maravillas del amor de Dios y del poder del Espíritu, roguemos al Señor. Gracious God, you have nourished and protected your church by providing it with pastors who are stewards of your word and sacraments. Strengthen our brother Augustine as he begins a new ministry among us. Help us all to follow your son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our el campo de ofrendas es el número 496. Our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after he had told the disciples of his coming death, on a holy mountain he manifested to them his glory, to show, even by the testimony of the law and the prophets, that the passion leads to the glory of the resurrection. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Spirit in Christ. 
may be made of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John Bosco, St. Augustine, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for an incredible help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, through your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, the older bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you gain for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our beloved brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing of this life, give high admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. <coughs> Through Christ our Lord, Amen. you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him in the name of God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
For all those who are in the overflow areas, please remain where you are. A minister of Holy Communion will come to you. Para las personas que se encuentran en Telecom o en el área de San Francisco, quédense ahí. Un ministro les llevará la comunión. Our communion hymn is number 904. You satisfy the hungry heart in the third room. El canto de comunión es el número 9047.
as we receive these glorious mysteries and make thanksgiving to you, O Lord, for allowing us while still on earth to be partakers of even now of the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. opportunity, first of all, to thank God for the gift of life. Thanking him for the vocation that he called me to become a priest. And thank him for all the blessings that I received. Next, I would like to thank my parents. They are like the CIA and the FBI to me. <laughs> the CIA part recalling <clears throat> of my father faith, strong faith, that he dared to make a decision with my mother to bring us all from Vietnam to come here. A journey of faith that he always and continued remind each one of us that every Sunday gathered together for dinner. And at times he reminded me of his own conviction as he shared that it's like Abraham making a journey of faith. Wherever, whether we were in Vietnam or we came to the United States or in the transition period in the Philippines, he always, first thing, is to make a shrine or an altar to God. And then I remember when I got accepted to be a seminarian for the Archdiocese of New York. He went with my spiritual father, Ignatius Wu, who is now retired, and he made a visit to trip in Vietnam. He's in Vietnam for a visit now. My dad and my spiritual father went into the chapel of St. John Neumann. It was the resident formation house. And in front of the Blessed Sacrament, my dad said, I offer my son to you. That was the anchor for me. It was in college, and when I finished college seminary, I asked my dad, it is possible if I can take some time off from the formation because I was the very first child graduated from college and can make money to help the family. And my dad told me, don't worry. We came here empty hands. God bless us. Keep going. That's called you. And I continue to follow to the day of our day in 2004, June 12, to become the priest of God. He is the CIA, the Catholic in action. <laughs> <laughs> And my mom, many of you already heard, she is the FBI. <laughs> because food beyond imagination. <laughs> Some of you will have in the sample of the egg rolls that she, my dad, they made. To share with all of us at the reception. She knew that I'm not always at home. So whenever I called her, I'm going to be home, my siblings were jealous because they said, I knew that he was going home because it's better food, good food on the table. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sometimes I tease uh, the people that I am the black sheep. And some thought that uh, I am truly the black, black sheep. But I explained that I wear black, that's why I call him the black sheep in the family. <laughs> And it's also, think about it, I am a black sheep. 
Because every fault, every wrong thing that people complain as of now, I'm the pastor, I have to take it off. <laughs> so I need those comfort, the comfort food for my mom, for my family, the support of the family continue to help me to go through what I am doing. Thank you, Bishop Burbage. When I opened a, an account of Bank of America, I did not know who is the owner. And then I come to realize that the abbreviation of EOA, Bishop of Arlington. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you are. The owner of Bank of America. No, you are the Bishop. You are the Bishop of Arlington. And thank you for your paternal care for your flock and for me. You've been searching and looking for people, priests in particular, to come take care of the flock that you trust to you. I thank you for your confidence in me, my installation, so that I have the right to resign. <laughs> I said, told the people, without the installation, I cannot resign. So that I have to work on my speech for resigning. But thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. And may you continue to act justly, love tenderly, and walk humbly with the Lord. Bravo.
some days after the Father God would pass away. Three years and 22 days that I arrived here, I received a call from Bishop Lippich to appoint me to be a pastor. And it took two years and two months because when Bishop Lippich called me in December 7th of 2000, by February 7th, 2023, two years and two months, he called me and asked if I wanted to take that responsibility as a pastor. And then, uh, two weeks after the official, effectively, date that I got appointed to the day, Two weeks later, and on the second week of Lent. So, I put it all together. I put it all together because Confucius said, when you are 50, you can come to know God's providence. So, he believed in God. Believe God in God. I took it because of the number 22. I am a catch 22. <laughs> a catch 22 is only able to go through when we have God with us. Without God, we will be stagnant. With God, walk with God as Abraham walked with God. Walk with God as uh, Peter, James, and John, seeing the glory as well as a not glorious day. They walk with God. We walk with God so that we can have uh, the courage, the strength, as we have heard in the second reading from St. Paul to Timothy, to bear the hardship with God's strength. And that said, I want to uh, sum it all up with what Pope Benedict XVI said. The priest does not teach his own ideas, a philosophy that he himself has invented, that he has discovered or liked. The priest does not speak of himself. He does not speak for himself to attract admirers, perhaps or create a party of his own. He does not say his own thing, his own invention, but in the memory of all the philosophies, the priest teaches in the name of Christ present. He proposes the truth that is Christ himself, his word and his way of living and of moving ahead. What Christ said of himself applies to the priest. My teaching is not mine. Christ, that is, does not propose himself, but as the Son, he is the voice, the word of the Father. The priest, too, must always speak and act in this way. My teaching is not mine. I do not spread my own ideas or what I like, but I am the man peace and heart of Christ and made present in this one. Share teaching that has created the universal church and creates eternal life. And he gave this talk at the Aria, General Aria, Munus Docente, April 10, 2010. As you saw that I make the promise with the profession of faith and open fidelity. The word of Pope Francis, the word of uh, Pope Benedict, will continue to go with me as uh, the role model of our Holy Father to go on the pilgrim of faith and the synodality that our Holy Father has. I will walk with God. 
and will walk with you, we together, walk together, but with God. Not my own agenda, not any other's agenda, but God's and God's Himself. As an obedient uh, pastor to the staff, they told me I'm not allowed to come to uh, the handling hall because of the declaration, because the food, I was so disciplined myself uh, lately not coming to Candy Hall. So I invite all of you to come and find out what the declaration, what kind of food we have over there, so that we can celebrate. Thank you, you all invited. El canto de salida es el número 428 en el Floricanto, ver, versículos 1 en inglés, seguido de los versículos 1 en español.